If you're looking for a fully electric car, your options are limited right now, but that's changing soon, and so is the car business. In a special report, Brendan Kinney reports on how dealerships in northern Michigan are preparing and what you need to know if you're in the market for an EV. Jamie at Bill Marsh and Andy at Williams have a combined 58 years of experience in the car business. The push toward electric and away from gas is undoubtedly the biggest change they've seen during their careers. It's huge. I mean, we're talking about cars you don't have to put gasoline in anymore, right? We're not changing oil in these things. Although there's still going to be a lot of uh, service work to be done, it's different. I don't think people are going to be working on their own cars anymore. William Chevrolet has been selling fully electric vehicles since 2016. This Chevy Bolt at Voice Chevrolet Buick in Kalkaska was sold just this week. As for Bill Marsh Automotive Group, We've been selling plug-in hybrids for a number of years, but the battery electrics is really where the market seems to be going, and that's where so much of this preparation really, because uh, that's, that's no gas engine, that's pure battery electric, so it's a different animal for sure. Bill Marsh is expecting its first battery electric car this summer. This is the GMC Hummer Super Truck. Both dealerships in Grand Traverse County have been getting ready to welcome more EVs on their lots. That includes preparations in the service shop because of specific safety requirements when servicing EVs due to high voltage. A barricade like this goes around the vehicle. Technicians wear special gloves, footwear, and eyeglasses. There's um, specialty tools that we've had to purchase and certainly a lot of training uh, for our technicians. We have three uh, fully certified EV technicians here at the dealership now where you know, a handful of years ago that wasn't even a thing. Another change is how EVs are designed. They don't need oil changes, for example. Bill Maher says that will have an impact on business. 50 to 60% of the business accounts for service. It's estimated fully electric vehicles will require about 40% less routine maintenance than an internal combustion engine. In terms of the financial aspect, are there any concerns? How are you going to make up that kind of money? Well, one of the things that with uh, being a, a dealership, I think we have an advantage is, is that, you know, the technology with electrics um, is going to be, is going to certainly require more people to, to come to us for us for any kind of service because of the sophistication and the technology involved. Now, electric vehicles still have a lot of moving parts. They still have wheels, they still have tires, they still have brakes and, you know, and other components. So that maintenance piece of it won't go away, it, it will certainly change. In order to get more electric vehicles on the roads, some lawmakers are looking to lower the price. On average, new EVs cost more than $58,000, according to Kelly Blue Book estimates. Governor Whitmer is proposing a tax cut in the state budget recommendation. We're told it would save people up to $2,400 when buying an EV. This comes as the Biden administration proposes new automobile pollution limits. It would require up to two-thirds of new vehicles sold in the U.S. to be electric by 2032. Republican Congressman John Molinar, who represents parts of northern Michigan, says President Biden is going too far with new auto rules. He says in part, the Biden administration's new rules will all but force Americans to buy electric cars. This is wrong. We need competition and policies that let Americans choose the vehicles that best meet their needs. Reporting for Up North Live News, I'm Brendan Kinney. Bill Marsh predicts it'll be another three to five years until an EV is available that's both affordable to most people and appeals to the masses.